Hi friends, now we are continuing environment variables and session variables in BlueProgram RPA. So in this video, we are going to see how to use environment variables for web applications. So here I am defining, now I am going to see how to log into Gmail using environment variables. Okay, in order to do, uh, do the like, let me define like now two variables like now I am defining like two variables, one is for username and other one is password. Click on add variable, the name is user id, the data type is text, so login information and the value is Aditya RPA Academy and let me define one more uh, variable for password add variable password the data type is password so password information and the password is and I, I need to click on apply otherwise it won't uh, like um, submit to the data database and right now I have defined like, um, environment variables under processes if I click on if I highlight the environment variables under business objects and you can see the same information same variables will appear means you can we can define either here or here so will appears in both processes and objects So application model, so browser based application, a browser that is launched from an executable file. So choose the default one that is the Internet Explorer, click on next and assign a URL like a gmail.com, click on next, next, then click on launch. Now I am teaching to blue prism about gmail application so identify so username or email or phone click on add element identify so next button and to go to the next page you can type any ID here and you click on add element identify okay, password apply I click on add element identify next let me ask a name another name like next button one because we have already assigned one name for this like next button so apply and then ok so to open an application request navigate stage then to enter the like password so user id require like so re, uh, writer stage And again, to click on next button, request navigate stage. And to enter the password, request write stage. And to click on next button, to request navigate stage. And then to close an application, again, by pressing or launching, closing, request navigate stage. 
and finally I'm currently looking I'm using like a add stage like a end stage and next I look like a two data items for this one one is for username and one is for password now I'm selecting environment variables and once I select here you can see it will, it will populate so like a user ID and you can see here are the HRP Academy click on OK next choose environment variables and choose password then click on OK and here you can see the password and launch the application so let me assign a name for this launch okay right now i'm mapping the user id with element like an email so email then next button So click center next button click on OK and I, uh, now I'm sending password password and password button and click on OK then click on next button click center next one so let me link all stages so reset it now you can select your know, errors then run it The blue prism is not able to send it like an email or the email here because so we'll see the error message. Now it's giving us an exception, it's like internal exception that is failed to perform step one in right stage email on page action one. No element match the supplied query address. That means blue prism is faster than an application, and then so we'll instead of now I'm going to use like a wait stage by using wait stage, I can instruct blue prism to wait for some extra time. Now I am linking all stages here. So here I am giving static wait. So 5 seconds. And here we can see like one error here because that we have not assigned like a wait waiting time okay let me close open and close this so it's zero and now i'm running this process okay instead of running the processes like let me do one thing let me do it like step by step if i use like a run to this stage the process will run up to this one now you can see Now it's entered email. Then let me run up to this stage. I can run to this stage.
now it's performed the action and let me click on here run to this stage now it's entered password let me click on run to this stage so nothing happens if i means this code or this stage is not executed if i click on like on yen if i you know on if i use this option on yen stage will execute now you can see is done this way we can use like environment variables for web applications thank you please stay with us we'll continue with uh, environment and session variables